Imagine for a moment that it is summer of 2003, which, judging by my YouTube analytics, none of you will actually be able to. You're playing on your 32-bit single-core Windows XP that your dad bought you, with Microsoft Paint eloquently pinned to your taskbar. You hear a knock at the door, you open it, and the postman delivers you this. Whatever, whatever this is. Street Legal Racing Redline is a game that will continue to surprise me. I'm sure as soon as you saw the title of this video, you immediately thought this would be about Rigs of Rods, but that didn't even release until 2005. By then, the Burnout Takeover and Destruction Driving games was already in full swing, with Burnout 3 still being what I believe to be one of the best racing games to date. But in the middle of it all came Street Legal Racing Redline, a game that blows even some modern expectations out of the water. Let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever seen Car Mechanic Simulator? Have you ever seen Beaming G Drive or any Need for Speed game from the early 2000s? This game took aspects from all of these games and merged them into one several years before any of them even existed, besides Need for Speed Underground which released only a few months after. It baffles me to this day that something like this has never been attempted since. It's been over 16 years now since the release of Street Legal Racing Redline and if something like this were to be released today, I simply can't imagine it not being successful to some degree. The idea of building cars from the ground up, customizing them, tuning them, racing them, smashing them up and then maintaining and fixing them is honestly quite brilliant. Before we start you should like the video because it's September now and YouTube views utterly dribble throughout the whole month every year. The support is appreciated. Need to feed my kids man. One pack of Uncle Ben's rice per day isn't particularly nutritious. <laughs> In case that wasn't obvious. Starting a new game, Cunt Thruster sounds like an appropriate name to go with so let's go with that. Straight away we're thrown into Halford's back room and we have to buy a car. Seeing how we are limited on cash and also the fact that the new car dealer crashes the game almost every time I go there, we are going to buy a car from the second hand dealer. Straight away we are greeted with a lot of shit, qu quite a lot of it. The least shit thing of all the shit here is this golf which happens to be affordable shit and also happens to be in perfect working order so I'll definitely take that. Now that we have our first car and some leftover cash we can customize our car and make it our own but before we do that I must introduce you to the moving parts feature which allows for some very interesting modification capabilities and also the ability to strip your car's panels entirely in the event of an air conditioning failure. Although the only failure about this car currently is the cunt who bought it. The paint system in this game is different to say the least. You can paint individual panels or you can get extra creative with the spray can tool which allows you to express your artistic freedom to your heart's content. Although probably best kept away from someone like me for obvious and observable reasons. There's also vinyls in this game such as this. Great. I'm starting to question the legality of some of these logos being here, but we're just gonna ignore that real quick. Ah yes, KFC car. So good. As far as visual customization goes, it's actually pretty damn impressive. Right down to interior customizations with the likes of steering wheels and stereo systems. I know this isn't exactly a sentence that gets said often, but I believe Colonel Sanders is melting onto my wheels. It's 2003 for God's sake, it's not gonna be perfect alright. The next best thing was FFX Runner on Congregate. Give me a break. We've made a few too many failures in this life. Finally, we're in the city. Probably the appropriate time now to explain how this game goes while showing footage of me blatantly cheating in a drag race. Basically, this game is mainly about street racing at random places around the map as soon as it turns night time in game. There's three clubs starting in green, then once every racer in green club is beaten you move to blue, repeat, then move to red, which is the top club. The opponent's cars become more powerful, more difficult to beat as you progress, etc, etc. And once you get to number one in the red club, that's about it. That's it. Oh yeah, there's there's also the race of champions, but that's that's the actual end. As you can see, the soft body physics are already kicking in. Back in the garage, we can fix individual parts or the car as a whole, for a price of course. Oh my god, I really should not be allowed this much power. Yep, uh, the car is officially as wobbly as my family's relationship. Oh, uh, good, good to see my door lodged within my car's center console. This is what fellow intellectuals know as a, uh, a pro gamer move. You can also buy cars and build them up from the shell, like this S15 for example, except I'm lazy and I'm just going to swap to a completed save. Chimney knob 1, chimney knob 2, chimney knob 3, cunt thruster. 1. Oh, uh, uh, that's that's n not, not what I expected to, to load into. That's not what I wanted. This is where the game fully crashed and also where I admit that I'm using the Steam version. Yes, I'm aware, it's not the ideal version. If you're writing a comment complaining about it, please do proceed to shove it up your fucking ass. It's hard to explain, but the game almost looks completely different in daytime. But there is also very little to do, besides annoy the police if you so wish to do so. Everything is fine, officer. Yeah, I, I hate fat cops. It was 2003, okay? It was simpler times. You were allowed to call people fat. Nowadays, if you were to do that, you'd probably get an arrest warrant by someone with red hair dye. But it's okay, here on the Shiny Odd channel, we don't fat shame, unless you're a cop. Because we hate fat cops! Ah, nice. The, um... 
the, the games are raised my save. So here we are with a third save game featuring this racially mixed skyline. I should also mention that this game has more than just street racing and free roam. There are full real life race tracks, drag strips, police chases and demolition derby arenas. It was at this point that I realised that entering a modified skyline into a demo derby event was a relatively bad idea, seeing as I was completely cocked after my second hit. So I took to the second hand shop, bought the first fully functional car I saw, slapped the fat wang on it because aero was very important in a demolition derby and jumped straight back in. Within seconds I got yeeted so hard that I could no longer steer and being a banked arena that went just great. I've honestly seen less violent slaughter scenes. Video games cause violence kids oh god yeah um I've, I've had this car for about five minutes and it's already cut in half. One car, for sale, only two owners, showroom condition, never raced a rally. Despite the damage, the engine actually survived, which is honestly the most surprising thing here. But yeah, the car's fixed and ready to run again. Let's enter it into, please goes mad, get out of cops. And that's where we finish that. Within under an hour, I've lost all my money, earned nearly nothing, lost a save file and destroyed every car we made. I'd say that this was definitely a productive use of my time and I have absolutely zero regrets. Jokes aside, if you want to see more Street League of Racing Redline, please do let me know. I actually enjoyed making this. I would love to make a follow-up if enough people are interested. Thank you for putting up with my voice for a few minutes. Make sure to like if you haven't already, follow my Twitch in the description, and remember to take out the washing machine. But take, 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 yeah, take out the whole, what? not just the washing. The whole, the whole goddamn washing machine. Just take it out. Take, nuke, nuke the goddamn thing. Yeah, I hit fat cops.